So right now I'm with Mr. Jam. How are you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm not too bad at all. I've just had an um, interesting experience with Magnetic Man. I've had numerous very interesting experiences with Magnetic Man. They're, they're mad. They, yeah, they worry me slightly. I describe them as crazy as a box of frogs or mad as a box of frogs. They're mad as a March hare on March day. It's, it is ridiculous, but in, in a very good way, in a very good way. I think you have to be that mad to be able to have the schedule that they have and still be able to kind of, you know, scream to dad, artwork, run several businesses and Ben is a rock star. So it's kind of hard. Very hard indeed. But speaking of hard, you're always busy. Oh no, that sounded so wrong. <laughs> speaking of hard, right, okay. You're working very hard at the moment. How is everything going? Really well. Really, really well. I think I would be very bored if I wasn't working as hard as I am. I love having a very packed schedule. Uh, I love being able to kind of be on the road and watch you do mad things on week to week. You enjoying it? I, I think I think you're playing it a bit too safe. Really? Mm. What do you think I need to do? If you could dare me to do anything, what would that be? I would dare you to go out into the crowd here at the Hackney weekend and roll in the mud. Yeah, that's going to ruin my clothes and stuff. Yeah, but look at the footage. It would be amazing. I reckon that I get at least 300,000 hits. Mud, are you talk, I don't have to do it naked, do I? No, no, no. You, you got to be fully clothed. Fully clothed, I'm saying just rolling around in the mud. Like a mental person. No, just like a festival goer. <laughs> like, like I'm high as a kite. Yesterday, if you asked me yesterday when I was drunk, I may well have done that. Uh, maybe we need to get some champagne on the go then. Champagne ting! Champagne ting! They're just getting in now, honestly. We've got like a set of servants out there. Off they go. Quickly, hurry up, move it! Move it now! Um, we're going to play a little game called Festival Fortunes. Okay. It works like family fortunes. Are you ready? ready? You've got to tell us what you think the most highly rated answer was. We asked 100 people by the end of this festival what will be their smelliest body part. Uh, I think uh, a lot of people said crotch. Oh, it's not even on the list. Huh, really? Then they're all a bunch of liars. Because if you go out there, it smells of ass. <laughs> Lovely. Bum holes on there. Bum hole. Bum hole. Um, armpit? Yes, that was a top answer. Top answer. But you, you, I think the thing is, is that there's a lot of people here that don't do festivals. and don't understand about festivals. So you're seeing a lot of people. You've got a smelly bum. There's a lot of people with crepes, which you don't wear to a festival. A lot of people don't realise that a pack of baby wipes is your best friend at a festival with smelly bum holes. A lot of people not realizing that you have to take an hour and a half in the morning spraying yourself down with deodorant so you don't get that four o'clock body mist, which happens sometimes. It smells so bad, they just takes people out. You see them just, just fainting as you walk past. <sighs> body mist, yeah. Gross, gross. They took my deodorant off me though when I came in here. Uh, well, you can buy some at the store. It's I've got right. perfume though. Perfume doesn't mask the smell. If you already smell of BO and you put perfume on it, just basically heightens it. No, I think I smell all right right now. No, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. I've got very sensitive... Would you tell me if I stank? Would you I, tell me? I genuinely would and I'd do it on camera. But she doesn't smell. She smells really nice, actually. She smells of lemons. Oh, lovely, charming. Um, well, thanks for talking to us today. It's been an absolute pleasure. And uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. That sounded so insincere. Why? Because I think you don't like me. I think you hate me. I love you. I think you want me to retweet every week about week to week. And I think that if I did that, you'd like me. No, it's up to you what you do. But I think I'm going to have to retweet every week. And I think if you're watching this right now and you haven't watched this week's Week to Week, then you're an idiot. Go and watch it every week. Subscribe. Watch her every week doing stuff that you wish that you could do with artists that she can just phone. Look, this is her phone. In that phone book, every artist that you ever want to contact in your life, Jay-Z is in there under Sean. That's how real this girl is. Yeah, he is. Actually, my cameraman saved this jigger man with a picture of Jay-Z because we need it for week to week. So I have a different person in there every week. And when people actually, when they ever call me and people see it on my phone, someone was Justin Bieber for a while. They're like, you know, Justin Bieber? No, you idiot. Yeah, he's just going to be calling my phone. Wally. Justin Bieber could phone your phone. He could. Um, speaking of phones, who's, what's the best number that you've got on your phone? Like the, the one that would impress people the most? Whose number is it that's in your phone? Let's have a look. What have you got? What are you working with? <gasps> oh my God. That's pretty cool. Look at the smile on your face as well. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you like cool? Like, just have a little chat? Um, I text him a lot and he replies each time. Um, he was going to come over for this, but he's over in Jamaica recording. So yeah. Can we tell him who it was? No. 
We're not going to tell you who it was. Next time he's here, can I just come and stare at him? He's like a legend. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no problem. No problem. Next time he's over, I will arrange for you to maybe come and interview him. That would be amazing. But you have to do dares that he dares you. And bear in mind that he does smoke a lot of weed. So those dares. Why can't I just kind of, why don't you give me the dares first that I have to do whilst I'm interviewing him so he just thinks I'm completely mental? It's got to be him. It's got, he's got to, he's got to say So he's going to give me dares? Yeah. You're going to find out about this at some point when it happens. I'll do it. I think you will. Yay! <laughs> See you soon, guys. Take care.